Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? How my family doing? I hope today was a beautiful day for you. Saturday was awesome in Georgia. The weather was right. It was sun beaming the whole day. No issues. But Portia had a little issue, a little incident. Thank, thanks in part to her boyfriend. He let a cardinal in her house. <laughs> a bird, child. A bird. Portia thought he was fanning her while she was laying down and it was actually a bird chirping in her house upstairs in their bedroom and i'm like damn i like that furniture i like it and he had some kind of southwestern man on a guitar just one picture that I, well two pictures i saw uh you could tell they ain't doing no do- decoration they own this furniture was definitely here somebody was lazy they want to have the refrigerator and they microwave upstairs they were like uh-uh ain't going out on sale that many times so they did it up mm-hmm. i am filling that mini bar and i am filling that microwave and that's a little southwestern picture i, I was thinking about and it could be a, a nigerian type picture or black art uh, but we know it is black art but i was looking for a little bit more in the room but i like it and you see the bird up there just flying around just flying around and she has a lot of sofas up there in that area so i don't know if that's a sitting room because i didn't see the bed but she said she woke up but she could just be in another room uh with all these sofas and amenities um uh, being present but um uh, she didn't show us the bed so maybe it wasn't made up i don't know because she likes showing her bed but it just is what it is. And, and Simon just put it out. And I think she had it on her profile too. They both shared it to one another. But yeah, it was a bird that she done got in her house. And I'm hoping they didn't kill the bird. Trying to get the bird out of the house. Uh, but Simon loves leaving those doors open downstairs. So what do you think is going to come in that house, Portia? Okay. That's why PJ just need to come visit. That's all she need to do is just come visit. She don't need to stay with y'all. Because uh, Simon don't know how to keep outdoors outdoors. He let nature come on in the house too. So if he let a bird come on now, he might let a deer, a gorilla, a bear, a, a wild cat, snakes, lizards, everything come up in there. He's just saying welcome, welcome to every God creature that is out there. Y'all come on in here and live with us. Now, you know that's a hot mess. But, yep, it's a little cardinal bird that um, came up into the scene of the house while she called herself taking a little nappy nap. It probably scared the shit out of her, too. But it just is what it is. And I thought that would be a cute story. I said, Simon doing that shit again. Just look at his ass. He's doing it again on her behind. But here's what she says. Y'all hear the bird chirping? Over here. What the hell? It's a bird in my house. Me and I woke up and it was at a bird. 
Yes, honey. See how she blamed Simon? She thought Simon was fanning her with a fan. And that joker was sitting there. Oh, uh, don't let a bird flew in. <laughs> mm -hmm. I said, that goddamn Simon, he always doing something. He's coming to be very lovable and comical to me. I'm like, if he just keep them damn doors shut. And I don't know if y'all got windows that have a screen portion. You, you need to be putting screens in them windows that you want to have up when the sun is out. And you want to uh, smell the fresh air. You know, pollution is still there. But, you know, the, the fresh cut of uh, smell of a uh, person cutting their lawn. Oh, that's it's real good. It's country living. It's it's good, girl. But honey, we have screens, so I don't know if Mr. Man down there done bought that house. And when you lit up them windows, you got where well, you can stick your hand outside. You can see your hand outside. Now, nah, when you oh, girl, no. Uh, that's really really country living back in the day. But uh, no, we you need windows where when you let it up, you got a screen. I mean, it's gonna keep everything outside but you still gonna feel that fresh air come through okay that's why i need you to get simon to come through he ain't in nigeria okay been in nigeria where he was born or whatnot and i don't care where you were born animals need to stay outside okay i'm talking to animals i'm talking about like snakes turtles um frogs lizards birds uh giraffes bears deers those things need to be outside where they can roam free that poor bird with your chirping like how i get the hell out of here i didn't want to be in here this is not i can't see the sky no more my family can't find me how can i get the hell out of here and i'm like that, that just because simon want to have them cars close to him because if he could put them cars in his bedroom or in the living room he would have a showcase he, he would have them there he sure will he sure will have them there and i'm like ah, when we had if you go back in another video that i did when simon was taking pictures of the inside of the house downstairs and he, i guess porsche had left him alone again see she had baby girl had went to sleep she was tired and this nut them probably left the doors open downstairs because they have like a little patio where you can walk on out to the deck of the ground area and you know simon had it open when he was taking pictures that day he just wanted to have his car where he could really see his car without the glass getting in his way i'm like girl do he got cataracts take him and see get his eyes examined okay and then take him to a psychiatrist because up here in the states in Atlanta, georgia Anything can come, especially if you live in a rural area. But see, he, he live in Sandy Spring, Buckhead. So, it's pretty much a, a very developed uh, uh, city. So, it shouldn't have any deers. Well, then again, I don't know. Because we disturb. When we sit up here and take all this nature's land. And we want to construct buildings. And, and build buildings. And executive park suites and stuff. We, we messing with bear environment. Because even where I stay, we st it's a hunting ground in the back. Uh, of us where you know deers are still populated in the area and you know some people be coming over you know ask can they come through the backyard you know or, or do do they do they mind if they go scale up my uh fence to get to the back where the, the hunting place is? i'm like no you sure can't you cannot okay now take your butt back in your little truck and get get the trucking okay this is not a place where we come and, and, and shoot deers and then next time i see you you're gonna be coming off my gate toting a deer on your back <laughs> like no 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 but anyway because they be suited up child they be having all that little gear i'm like damn this is not the wild wild west of the country where you out there with the pigs and the hogs and you know the chickens and roosters you but this is not what we do okay that's a that's further east okay but anyway, we do stay in a rural area, but it's still populated. It's very developed. But, you know, you some uh, some of the land around here is still wildlife. So I can see some not really migrating other places. They just want to stay where they've been for, you know, ever. Until houses and constructions and apartments came and disturbed, you know, their habitat. So, um. Uh, yeah, it was a mess. But anyway, Portia got a husband. 
or soon to be husband boyfriend uh I, I don't know what to call him at the time because you know they living like they married but they ain't saw no justice of the peace nothing was officiated in writing and you know you I, before i could call you somebody's husband or somebody wife i gotta make sure it's on paper okay we can't just be doing this in name shit because the name shit gets your ass in trouble because somebody fall out die okay you're not the wife Okay, you might have been living with him, but he ain't got your name on none of these uh, papers. So, you really can't do nothing. That means Porsche got to call the mama. Okay, and, and over in, in Africa to say, you know, your son done passed away. Uh, what do you want to do with the body? You know, I, I probably want to have it here because, we, we, you know, he's been here with me. And, and mama going to say, hell no, send his body back to Africa. Okay, I will make all the arrangements. You know, <laughs> and Porsche just be left out. So, I don't know. Hopefully, Simon is taking care of those things in the interim of them getting married. But, I, I just don't know. I, I just don't know. Because he be smoking them cigars and drinking. Girl, you need to have put your name on something. Okay. Because we already know it ain't on the house thus far. All right. Uh, allegedly. But, yeah. Portia had that little bird up in there. And woke her up. She probably had some bird shit fall on her face. I don't know. Because, you know, birds, they just poop. And it just falls. And it lands wherever it lands. I'm like, that. Simon, that's so nasty. That's so nasty for you. Let Mother Nature come in here and, and be. <sighs> Mother Nature can't come in here, Simon. That's why the Lord put them on the outside to be one with the earth, to be up in the air. That's why they have wings. Portia, get him. Get him, girl. Portia, get him. <laughs> He don't know no better. He don't know no better. I keep telling you, he always do stuff to give me a chuckle or laugh. Because he wants to be special. And I see he still ain't got verified on Instagram, have he? Your daughter done got verified before Simon did. <laughs> like, he's still waiting. He's still waiting. He's still waiting. All right. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Hope y'all like it. Love it. Gotta have more. Okay. Y'all get in tune. Get stay tuned. Because you know I'm be cranking out something else to make y'all laugh. Because it be tripping the hell out of me. So I'm like, well, I might well share with my YouTube family. Get them some laughs. Never know what's going on in their daily living. They might need to laugh a little chuckle. A little hee hee ha ha over here. Okay, over there from my house to yours. But I'll see y'all next video. But y'all, well, before we go, do y'all see that mini bar? Okay. And, and then it's like a, a microwave oven. It's something like you get in those nice hotels. Uh, uh, no, they ain't in motels. But the hotels, they have like little mini bars and stuff and you can, um, I don't know if it's like a fully equipped kitchen set up or something that you get, you know, when you more so be traveling and you're going from state to state and you just want to cook where you at so you don't have to be going out for fast food and stuff. And I'm like, damn, somebody was lazy as hell, but they were smart. They was lazy and smart at, uh, as hell at the, the same damn time because, I, you know, I always thought about Putting a little refrigerator upstairs with me when I wanted some water, you know, some cold water. I don't like that lukewarm water. It made me want to throw up, but you know, I can I can do the cold water. And sometimes you just you just be thirsty, and want a little swig or something. You know what I'm saying? Me, it be ginger ale. For you, it might be some wine or some you know Hennessy or whatever vodka, hell, scotch. Who knows? Okay. Um. Or you might want a little sneaky snack. Or you might want to warm something up that you had up that was cold. You want to warm it up a little bit. You got places to start. You know, I'm just saying. They doing that doing thing in that bed bedroom. Because I know there ain't no sexing going on. Because I got to do another video where Porsche is supposed to be sponsoring. Or a uh, spokesperson of some vibrators. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, girl. How did you go from selling bed sheets to vibrators? Girl, I, I got to do that video. I, I, I've been known about it for about a couple of weeks i just had time because i've been focusing on other videos but i just thought about it i said okay ain't nothing going on in that bedroom but eating and drinking and sleeping <laughs> and in that damn order okay i'm just saying eating drinking and sleeping and for Simon, a little uh smoking there here and there because i think Portia should get on his behind now she probably don't like him smoking in the inside and definitely not around her and, you know, because I don't think PJ stay there. Hell, I don't even think Portia stay there half the time. She go home, have to get some more clothes and whatnot. But just in fact that she do stay. 
she must have, uh, we can't be doing all that smoke. Cause even when they was on taping on the family matters, it's like she was like, you just got finished smoke. You finna smoke again? I don't know if y'all caught that part, but I did. And I'm like, okay, girl. So I know you don't like to smoke either. You you don't like to smoke in your hair. You don't like to smoke in your clothes. And, and you got this little eagle running around him. And that's all what he loved to do. That's why he be outside most of the time. Trying to get that God's green uh scenery and that god's air and so he can smoke freely without you getting in his ass okay oh lord have mercy i tell you simon simon good body he is something else he loves to uh show you his lifestyle as it playing out in real time shabba some things you just don't need to put on social media like this bird like who who does this stuff but as long as you want to be eccentric, I can come over there and be eccentric with you. And uh, just make you laugh because the shit you be doing, Simon, is silly as hell. Silly as hell. But you want to put it out and I guess shit, I'll come over there and just do my commentary on you. So we'll just be looking like two fools together. Okay? But that's all I got for this video, guys. Y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Stay tuned. Put on those notification um, bell buttons so you'll know when I drop a video down if you haven't subscribed to the channel what the hell are you waiting for okay i'm free comedy for you all day all night 24 hours uh 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 okay and thank you and please share my video so we can have more family and we can build up and do this thing all right and cheers to you all have a great weekend and i'll see you next video Bye bye